Kia ora, campers. Um, I hope everyone is well. Today is my number 10 of confinement. Um, started a little early thanks to being overseas. Once I got over my FOMO, my fear of missing out, and everybody else joined the quarantine club, I found a really interesting transition. I was reading The Guardian the other day and, and journalist Tobias Jones, who's based in Italy, he described it as stepping off the fast and furious treadmill and into a state that's kind of a mix between hibernation and meditation. I really, really liked that description. And what I'm really enjoying now is um, one, not having to wake up to an alarm clock, two, not having to meet, like many of us, this really overfull schedule and just slowing it down a bit. The other thing I'm really enjoying, because I'm not um, heading into the office, my mode of transport is cycling. And um, because I ride my bike, really determines what I, what I wear every day. And because I'm not riding my bike into work, I'm, a, I'm able to jump back into my wardrobe in some of these outfits that I haven't worn for ages. So today I'm wearing um, Miss Crab silk robe, which certainly wouldn't go on a bicycle. Um, a linen, white linen dress, linen trousers, and um, some old Catherine Wilson platforms. And it just allows me to, to dive back into my wardrobe and have a bit of a play. But what I've also found, and I mentioned this in the last video, is I've, I've just become a little bit more sensitive to covers. And I don't know if any of you have found this as well, but um, I just don't think I could step into something black at the moment. Um, I'm being drawn to colours that I find um, more gentler and more nurturing and almost safer, which is, sounds kind of a weird thing to, weird thing to say. But um, I'd be really curious to know if anybody else is um, experiencing this as well. So if you are, let me know, and I'd love to know what colours that you are being drawn to too. I think that would be quite fascinating to see what's happening. Um, anyway, I promised you sustainability and fashion, and um, tomorrow we're going to dive into my wardrobe and have a look around. So I hope you'll join me. Take care, and see you tomorrow.